Our daughter, Laura, was a sophomore at Haverford College. Uh, she was a history slash uh, political science major, uh, very interested in public policy. I think one of her professors encouraged her to come to FCNL annual meeting, which she did. And after graduation, planned to come to Washington and, and be an intern at FCNL. When she was home on Christmas break, um, you know, we, we sat down and we talked about her experience at FCNL annual meeting and how much it meant to her. It was a long Christmas break, uh, about three weeks. She had worked at the behavioral health clinic in our county, our rural county, the summer before and had really enjoyed the people there. She came, was asked to come back and work for a week um, on, at the end of Christmas break, which she was more than happy to do. The woman who was the, the receptionist at Behavioral Health Clinic had a sick baby, and therefore Laura pitched in and was working that day as the receptionist. A client uh, whom Laura knew came in for a scheduled appointment and drew a 9 millimeter semi-automatic handgun and shot her at point-blank range uh, twice in the heart, uh, continued shooting her after she had fallen to the ground. Uh, she died instantly, something which we are grateful for. You either crawl in a hole or you, or you fight back. And I guess we, we fought back. We got connected with the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence. Um, gun, show, gun shows were happening in Nevada County, the county we live in. in the, we live in the foothills, Sierra Foothills, northeast of Sacramento. It's a fairly rural county. Um, it took two years, but we stopped the gun shows in Nevada County. We formed and built the Nevada County chapter of the Brady Campaign. And then in 2005, we became, as volunteer advocates, we became the lobbyists for the Brady Campaign to Prevent Gun Violence. Um, so in Sacramento, we represented the National Brady Campaign and our 22 Brady Campaign chapters, California chapters, on legislation. And um, we did not take this lightly. We were representing many people who had lost someone to gun violence and who, of course, cared deeply about this issue. California is a great place to be working on this issue. We've had much success. Three um, far-reaching bills that we sponsored were signed into law. Change, of course, is incremental. So we still have our work for us, but... Um, we're on the right path. As Nick told you about, Laura uh, was inspired by attending the FCNL meeting here 12 years ago. She wanted to make a positive difference in the world. We're trying to carry her torch. And one way we think we can have her torch be carried by others is to establish a fund in her name um, to endow an internship position at FCNL. So, We've committed ourselves to raising $600,000 for this endowment. We want young people to learn and work at FCNL, learn to be lifelong advocates and av activists, take the skills they, they learn at FCNL into their other endeavors, be it in Washington, D.C., or into the communities that they end up on. So we want Laura's Laura's goal, Laura's wish is to continue through others, and we think this is the best way to, um, to acknowledge and affirm the good work of FCNL and to remember our daughter. So thank you.